about you? Did you? What made you start making videos? Um, yeah, what made you start getting into astronomy? I mean, how did it all start? It really started, I would say, when I was kind of, you, you kind of missed the story in Chris's video, right? So I'll have to, I'll reiterate. I do, remember you, I do remember you mentioning something and yeah. I've seen. That. Actually, what happened is that we lost the feed of that part. Ah, <laughs> so right. he couldn't make up like a story out of it. So he just left the beginning part and that's all. We couldn't make anything out of it. But I tell you, like, uh, inherently, I wasn't into astronomy. Like, I was more into looking at up the sky and seeing the stars. I was, like, fascinated, but not into the point where I, like, want to learn what this is, like, constellations. I wasn't that type. Uh, but if I see something, I'll be, like, fascinated. Oh, this stars, this sky, that's cool. And... At some point in my life, like I think it was in my 12th standard, like uh, when I was 16, 17, and I was like just finishing my school. So there were these exams that I had to clear. So it was that time when your mind kind of wanders into stuff that because you have one big thing called exams to decide, you just want to clear your mind, right? So I went into this uh, Facebook group. So it was a Facebook group where they had these beginners getting into astronomy, there were many things. And looking up, uh, I just thought I, I might make a telescope, like using, what to say, using, we know that the magnifying glass that we get, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I've, done, I've done that before. Yeah, I've done that before. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, got, I got my hands on one of those from a store, and luckily, it also had a smaller lens, just in that it's same... It's a knife piece. Yeah, just as an IP. So I had no idea what I was doing, but still, yeah, it's a telescope. I didn't even look up the details. Like, I have seen it in photos. Like, the bigger thing goes in the front, the smaller thing in the back. So I just made this contraption actually using cardboard. And I, I, I did exactly the same. <laughs> I, exactly I the stuck same. it to the front. I stuck the, like, the objective to the front. And I made like a hole and a smaller tube. And I stuck the eyepiece to this side so that it would move like this, like a focuser. <laughs> then, in using that, I started looking at the moon. Uh, I was really surprised to see the craters on the moon. I was seeing it for the first time. And that too, seeing it from a telescope that I that I made, I was very proud. Like, oh my god! What? That's when I realized that's something that I was really missing in life. Like. Astronomy is something I need to learn. From that point onwards, I started reading. I started watching videos. More than reading, at my time, it was like watching videos. Because yeah. I, I wasn't that of a, that kind of a guy who reads stuff. It's kind of, it's kind of like I don't have the, what to say, the patience to read stuff and get info. I'm more like a video person. If I see stuff, yeah. I learn it more. So I, I watched a lot of YouTube videos, I would say, like watching these YouTube videos. And I figured that having a telescope itself doesn't cut it. You need to have a mount. So I, I made a mount using PVC pipes, using a T-joint, and I made a, a kind of a mount, like altazimuth mount. And I posted that picture on, on the same Facebook group. And the reviews that I got for that picture and the way that I made it, that's really what started me into, that's what hooked me into astronomy. Like, people were like, wow, this is a cool idea, dude, you're doing good. Like, just how Galileo did it. And they were, like, really supportive. And they were, like, they were appreciating me from a point that I've never experienced in my life. Excellent. Uh, that's good. Oh, well, yeah. So well, that's good. If that post, if I hadn't made that post, I don't think I'll be doing this right now. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, it's so strange how things work out. Yeah. Uh, have you still got that? Have you still got it? The, the scope that you made? Have you, have you still got that telescope that you made? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a sad story because the way I was using it and the way, like, I'd be still outside in the lawn at 2 a.m. So my parents were a bit concerned. Because the child is at 2 a.m. outside looking at some stuff, and they were like, 
dude, you should stop this. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just looking at the moon. What's wrong? They, the thing is that they were concerned that something would bite me in that dark place. Great. So okay. Okay. At one point, my mom told me that you should dismantle this and go. And I got a bit annoyed and I did it. I dismantled everything and I forgot that I kept all those pieces and that scope isn't anymore. All uh, the that I have is really that picture that I posted in that group. That's the only uh, image that I have. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, because I, I haven't got mine like that. I did exactly that. that it, it doesn't matter, it does it? It's not really. a magnification even. It just gave like, I think, 8x or something, but still just enough to see the moon's craters. Yeah, 8x. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> and after that, uh, after some time, they saw me that like I was kind of down and I asked them if I could get a telescope. And from where I am, from India, it's it's very really difficult to get a telescope because this the astronomy and telescope stuff isn't very popular here. Yeah, I've heard it's quite expensive as well. Yeah, uh, that's why. Cool. Yeah, that's why I bought it online from like Amazon, and I got my first telescope, and that's still my only telescope. That's really the you might have seen it in my videos, like sitting here, like it's the it's yeah. a. It's a 70 mil refractor telescope from Salatron. Yeah, what, what focal length is it, that one? It's like 700 millimeters. Oh, 700, yeah, so it's decent focal length then, yeah. 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 I mean, 70, 70 mil is fine. I've got a... It's part of the reason why I started. Like, see, I, I, I didn't have a chance to take up astronomy as my degree because it's kind of a, what to say, a peer pressure kind of thing where taking up astronomy wouldn't, like, like your, like your parents are like, would you like make a living out of astronomy? They, they are like concerned. So I had to take up engineering, even though that doesn't make any sense. Uh, although it's making sense now, but I don't know what I'll be doing in like five years or so. Uh, but I didn't want that, what to say, that passion in me for astronomy to die out. That's why I started this channel. And I'm hoping that I could like, what I went through, I could share those, like help people. At the end of the day, that's all. No, I'm just <laughs> uh, like they they got I got this telescope, so I was like I was seeing the I was obviously seeing the moon, I was seeing Jupiter, I was seeing Saturn, and uh, the mass was very small for at that time. I didn't know that. There was something called opposition coming. Yeah. I was so weak at astronomy that time, I didn't know anything. So that's it. You, you, you learn all these big words later, don't you? You don't have to learn everything at first. Yeah. Just, just yeah. <laughs> like then at uh, then I was like, yeah, that's all that I can see. That was kind of an impression that I got because yeah, I saw all the planets and one fine day, I'll tell you, I was sitting on my terrace and I was wondering whether I could see something more, like something outside. And with this telescope, obviously I wasn't hoping to see anything because not only because of the aperture, also because of the skies that I had. It was very light polluted here. If I look from here, the city is on the other side. So you know how light polluted it would get. The sky is here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, like a, a, an, orange, an orange sky instead of a, instead of a, instead of a, a black sky. <laughs> yeah. So I was like trying to find Andromeda galaxy, and I didn't know what to look for. I didn't like think I'd be seeing this, but I found out that you have to do that star hopping thing that you do to find the galaxy. And I figured that out. And I was going from this star to this thing using an app on my phone. And yeah, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here, and suddenly I jumped to the galaxy and I wasn't seeing anything, it was just pitch darkness. Then I waited for some things to settle, and when I, <laughs> when I saw it, like, what I, what I really saw was this kind of a smudgy thing, but I really screamed out of joy because what I saw was something that was like 2.5 million light years away. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> the, like, the light that was like, 
the photons that were traveling like for 2.5 million years to just to reach my eyes. Like that exactly. Really, it's, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's a beautiful experience. That's the only way I can describe it. it, it I mean, I, I've just got goosebumps from you telling me that story. You know, that's, that I, I am feeling what you feel because I can remember the first time I saw Andromeda. And I was doing exactly the same as you. And I was, I was scouting about and I said, and I, I, I've got to be in the area. It's got to be around here somewhere. And all of a sudden, boom. It was there in the field of view, and I was just like, I nearly cried, you know, it was just so like, oh, wow, you know, I just can't believe this. <laughs> Such it's a fantastic something, experience. Really something, oh my God. The way that I screamed, parents were sleeping downstairs, and they woke up, <laughs> and they came asking, what happened? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good that you're getting that from it, and 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 that's that's what that's what draws you into astronomy. And this is what I'd love to 